Hello everyone, welcome back. It's TGR, that's Gaming Robo. Guys, in this video, we are managing PSG for five seasons. We're going to see whether or not, if we can finally get PSG to conquer European football, which they should have been doing since they had the likes of Neymar, Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi playing in the same team. Now guys, just before we do crack on, please make sure that you do smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell too. And if you want to see other season long gameplays or five season teams, you need to leave a, make, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know the team that you want. But anyway guys, let's hit the intro. I need to see if we can make PSG finally to win the European Champions League. <laughs> So guys, we come to the start of the first season and of course PSG are in the Trophy des Champions final and they will be facing Nantes. Now just to give you a quick update, we have brought in one player on loan, Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, I brought him in purely because of backup for left wing because I think Neymar starts off with a pretty long injury. Yeah, so he starts off with six month injury. So. We brought in Smith Rowe on a loan to the end of the season. So I'm hoping that he can provide really good cover for us at left wing. But guys, we need to see what happens to us at the end of the first season. Can we finally win the Champions League with PSG? I certainly hope so. So let's find out. So guys, we've come to the end of the first season. Now we need to see whether or not if we've won the Champions League. Because this is the main priority for this five season challenge with PSG. So, but first of all, have we won the league? Come on! First in the league, get him. Now, just before we do have a look at the league, you'll notice that Jaden Sancho is in the team. Reason being is because Smith Rowe joined Monaco in January. So, we got another loanee in, which was Jaden Sancho. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy to have had Jaden Sancho in the team to cover Smith Rowe's departure. But... Before we go into the stats, we need to look at the league. So, undefeated in the first season. 100 points. Come on. Brilliant. Trophy number one. That's trophy number one right there. 29 points clear of Reims. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. All right, let's have a look at the other cup competition. So, Trophy de Champs. Trophy number two. Get in, lad. What about the Coupe de France? Trophy number three. Yes. Oh, can we make it a clean sweep? Champions League. Oh, we lost in the final. No way. Man City. Of all teams, they beat us in the final 4-2 on penalties. We've got to do something about that Haaland kid because he's scoring way too many goals against me in these challenges. I mean, we look at the Champions League. In the semi-final, we knocked out Napoli. Quarter-final, we knocked out Leverkusen. In the second group stage, Liverpool, Inter and Fenerbahce. That's a tough group. And in the first group, AC Milan, Atletico Madrid and Sturm Graz. I mean, with the, with the exception of Sturm Graz, that's another tough group. You know, I mean, no disrespect to Sturm Graz. But uh, the Coupe de France, we beat Marseille 4-1. That's, that's incredible. Alexis Sanchez couldn't do anything about it. And the Trophy de Champs, and of course we beat Nantes 2-0 as, as the curtain jerker. But going back to the team, guys, I'm looking through the stats. As you can see, Kylian Mbappe, 66 goals. I mean... Who who can score 66 goals in the season? That's incredible. Lionel Messi had a great year. Hugo Ekatik, 11 goals and 14. That's brilliant. Vitinha, 10. Carlos Soler, 9. Neymar, 7. You know, it, it, each and every player pulled its weight this season. And I'm dead, dead chuffed. But guys, this is the first season. We've got four trophies. This is the first season, but we still need to win that European Champions League. 
it's going to haunt me as PSG manager if we can't do it. So let's head over to the start of season two. Let's see who we brought in to the team. And I'm hoping that we've made the team loads better so we can try and win that Champions League final. So we come to the start of the second season, guys. And in the Trophy de Champs, the curtain jerker for France, we're against Reims. Of course, they finished second. But the players that we've managed to bring in this season, Yuri Thielmans, uh, Kagla Sorinku and Branko Van Den Boomin. We needed midfield, um, more input in midfield. So Van Den Boomin has been joining us. And uh, the only casualty that's left us is Presnel Kimpempe. And other than that, guys, I mean, we've managed to keep Lionel Messi for another year. I'm dead happy with it. But, I mean, I say we're keeping him for another year. He hasn't signed the contract yet, so I'm hoping that he will do. But uh, the other guys that we've managed to bring in, guys, on loan is Anthony Alanga from Manchester United and Harvey Elliott. I've never, I've never brought in Harvey Elliott before, from what I recall, and I'm really excited to see what he, uh, what he can do in our team. So both these young lads on loan, adding more depth and stability into the team. But the main focus is, can we win that stupid Champions League trophy? for PSG finally I don't know but let's head over to the end of the season let's find out so guys we've come to the end of the second season and we've won four trophies already have we made trophy number five with the league come on get in that is what we want trophy number five we've lost one game so in the two seasons in League 1, we've only lost one game in 76. That is stupendous. We need to see who we lost, actually. We, well, before we do that, we want to see what we've done in the league first. I can't go too far ahead. So Trophy de Champs, brilliant. Trophy number 6, we won. We beat Reims in the Trophy de Champs. Uh, Coupe de France, round of 64, Wow. Still on six trophies. Champions League. Come on! We finally did it for PSG. Trophy number seven. Right. We beat Arsenal in the final 1-0. Harvey Elliott. What a lad. What a lad. And we beat the likes of Liverpool and Tottenham to get into the final as well. That is brilliant. Right. As I said, we need to see who we lost to in the league. Because that's one defeat in 76 in League 1. I must have gone past it somewhere. Where is this defeat? Where is this defeat? So we lost to Liverpool in the quarter-final. There we go. Against Leon. Against Leon. So that's one, two, three, four more games left. So we're on game 34 and we lost our first game in nearly two seasons. Damn, I hate you. And Kylian Mbappe got sent off. But Reims, they lost 1-0 to us in the Trophy de Champs in the Curtain Jerker. But having a look through the stats. <clears throat> Kylian Mbappe, once again, absolutely magnificent. What can you say? Harvey Elliott and Anthony Alanga. They both had fantastic seasons. And Harvey Elliott's joining Marseille. Uh, Neymar, not so good. Carlos Sola, Vitinha, Branko van den Boomen had a good year as well. Lionel Messi did leave us at the start of the season. He left on a free transfer, went over to Red Bull Salzburg and he had a crack in first year. But he's now unemployed. But guys, we're, uh, we, we've done really, really well. We've won the, we've won the Champions League, finally. For PSG and looking through their history, the first time they've ever won the Champions League. Absolutely brilliant that is. But let's head over to the start of season three. I need to start building this team again and seeing if we can get this team to retain the Champions League. So guys, we've come to the start of the third season and we're facing Lorient in the Trophy de Champions. They won the Coupe de France. Uh, by beating, I think it was Toulouse or Marseille. 
to lose, that's it. They beat them 2-1. But let's see who we've managed to bring in for the start of the season. We did go on a little bit of a spending spree on the signing on fees, of course. But Nico Elvidi in at centre-back. Marcus Rashford. Alex Meret, sub-goalie. Hugo Ekatik, of course, he was with us at the start of the first season. Alejandro Bald and Rafael Leo. And the people who have left us, Kilo Navas, uh, Leandro Paredes, uh, Mario Icardi, and lastly, Marco Verretti. This is the team that we're putting out for the next season. And I'm telling you this. I think we've got a cracking chance to retain the Champions League this season. So let's not let's not dilly-dally about this anymore. Let's head over to the end of the third season. I want to see us retain that Champions League trophy. So guys, we've come to the end of Season 3 and the start of Season 4. And we need to see what happened at the end of Season 3 because we went a little bit too far. So going over the cup competition. So first of all, the Super Cup, we came runners-up last season. Not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. And the Club World Cup, we won that. Get in. We'll have a look to see who we beat in the final last season. Champions League, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals. <coughs> I can't believe that. Uh, Coupe de France, we won that last season. Get in. Get in, you little beauty. What about the Trophy de Champs? And we won that again. Come on. That is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Lastly, we need to see if we won the league. Come on! We lost two games, though. We got 98. Look at that. 100 points, 99 points, 98 points. This season, is it going to be 97? I don't know. That's the way it looks like it's going at the moment. But you notice, we're still winning the same amount of games. 31 games that we've won out of 38. That is brilliant. 93 games, league games we've won in three years. That is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Now, looking at the players that we've managed to bring in this season. Uh, Edda Militeo, fantastic centre-back. Victor Ozyman, a stupendous striker. Uh, Alexis McAllister, the most sought after central midfielder alongside Jude Bellingham and finally Kim Min Jae I don't care what anyone says I mean in real life this guy's release clause is 45 million pounds I am surprised that there isn't every big club in Europe right now banging on the door to get him because he is a phenomenal centre back in real life but guys we need to we need to try and win back our Champions League glory because I'm absolutely gobsmacked that we lost in the quarterfinal last season and looking at who we lost to Porto we lost 2-1 on aggregate that ain't good at all no way Jose so let's head over to the end of season four let's see if we can add any more trophies and more importantly can we win back our Champions League trophy let's find out. So guys we've come to the end of the fourth season and as you can see we're in the Champions League final but we need to see whether or not if we have won the league. Come on! Get in you little beauty! Oh we still got one game left. We still got one game left so technically this is title number 12. This is technically title number 12, but it's all about the Champions League. This is the Champions League final. So before we look into any of the other finals, uh, you know, the other tournaments, we need to see what happens to us in this last game against Ajax now. Uh, well, we're going to have to play Boldy, Bold rather, um, in at left back. Um, Marquinhos and Dagba. We're going to have to bring in one player up from the 
uh, from the from the reserves now Van den Boomen he's uh, generically the set piece taker for us but uh, he he's lost his place because of Alex uh, Alexis McAllister joining the team but other than that the the team itself looks absolutely stupendous I'm dead happy with what we have got for this side so let's head over to the Champions League final I'm putting it back to very fast I'm hoping this could be come on Marcus Rashford come on boys it's two. Victor Ozerman makes it 2-0 for PSG. And it's, I'm afraid to say, for Ajax, it's too much for them to try and come back now. Um, Zia Emery can come on for you. Uh, Raphael Leo will come on for Kylian Mbappe. Can we make it 3-0? No, it's all over. We won the Champions League. Brilliant. That's, like I said, technically the the league itself is title number 12. So this Champions League is title number 13. And the reason for that, guys, is because we have won the Trophy de Champions. We have won... No, we didn't win. We didn't win the Coupe de France. So, yes, so title number 13... For the Champions League. I'm absolutely amazed. By this. By this team. Absolutely incredible. We've been undefeated throughout the whole entire season. With still one game left. And we've got to face Le Havre. And I don't honestly see us losing against Le Havre. We beat them 3-1 last time. But looking at the stats. Kylian Mbappe. I mean come on absolutely incredible Rashford great season Ozerman it looks like he started you know every other game from what it looks like Raphael Leo good season McAllister great season Vitinha once again just another good season for him Kylian Mbappe most man of the match awards that's gonna happen isn't it but Edda Militeo uh, Hakimi Kinmin Jay all have had fantastic tackle rates this season one being a fullback that's incredible but guys this is a fantastic fourth season we've got our last season to go with with the PSG next season you know and at this moment in time we're not looking to bring in anyone else because this team is incredible we've built the best team that we possibly can with PSG so let's head over to the end sorry not the end the start of season five we'll see if there's anyone that can be brought in but Honestly, I think this team's raring to go for the last season with PSG. So guys, we come to the start of our last season with PSG. And guys, I mean, you know, last season was absolutely incredible. Winning the Champions League, winning the league, you know, it, it it's all coming back together. You know, it's all going PSG's way. Now, we've brought no one in this season. No loanees in either. No one's left us either. And no one's gone out on loan as well. We're keeping the same team. We've got everyone with new contracts. I'm really, really happy with this team. Especially for the way that we played last year. So I want to see us retain the Champions League. You know, we've won it two out of the four seasons so far. Let's try and make it three out of five at the end of the season. So let's see if we can add any more to the 13 trophies that we've got. Let's head over to the last part of our season now. At the end of season five. So guys, it's the end of our PSG journey. We're at the end of Season 5. We're already on 13 trophies. Unlucky for some, but not unlucky for us, I'm hoping. Have we managed to retain the Champions League, the, the Ligue 1 title, the Trophy de Champs, the Coupe de France? Have we managed to win it all this season? We need to have a look right now. Oh, get in. Trophy number 14. 100 points. Get in, you beauty. Oh, 20 points clear of Lens as well. That is absolutely smashing. And I think that's the most amount of goals we scored in the league season as well. We will double check. But first of all, Trophy de Champs. Come on. 15th title we've won. 
That's 15 titles so far. <clears throat> Super Cup. Trophy number 16. Come on. Super Cup. We finally managed to win that. That is brilliant. What about the Club World Cup? Come on. Come on. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Trophy number. I think it's what's that? 17? I think that's 17, 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah. So that's trophy number 17. That's absolutely brilliant. What about the Coupe de France? Trophy number 18. Come on. This is gonna happen. We're gonna have a clean slate. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna win all the titles this season. Champions League is the only thing that we need. Trophy number 19 for us, surely. No! No! We got knocked out in the quarterfinals. Oh my god. I mean we beat Lille 2-0 in the Trophy to Champions. Rashford with a brace. Man United we wiped the floor with them. 4-1. Uh, the Champions League group. That's a really easy group for us. And we still lost one game in that group. The second group. Group of death. Look at that. PSG, Leverkusen, Atletico Madrid and Manchester United and we came top of that group the World Club Cup final we beat Independiente and Sydney FC in the final we had to go into extra time for that um, looking through here quarter final Bayern Munich they knocked us out 1-0 in the 68th minute if Kylian Mbappe weren't injured if Kylian Mbappe weren't injured we would have won that I guarantee that. And Coupe de France, we beat Marseille 1-0 in the 90th minute, thanks to Kylian Mbappe's goal. Well, having a look through the stats, guys. And Kylian Mbappe, 47 goals. Raphael Leo, 19. Rashford, 13. Osman 12. Vitinha, 10. Etiquette, 8. Baldis, 5. This team's done magnificent, and we started playing Warren, Zay, Emery at defensive mid at the start of this season. We started playing all the games. He's had a fantastic season. 12 assists as well. Great tackle rate, as including for him as well. Uh, Man of the match award, of course, it was going to be Kylian Mbappe, but the tackle rate, look at that. Eda Militeo, 4.5. Kim Min Jae, 4.2. Warren, Zay, Emery... Archer, Archraf, Hakimi both got 4.0. That is incredible. And Archraf, he's a right back. That's absolutely incredible. But guys, 18 trophies PSG over the five year period. On average, three trophies. Nearly, well, you're nearly looking at three point something or other trophies every season, which is absolutely brilliant. But guys, if you have liked this video, please make sure that you do smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell too. If you do want to see other five-year challenges with other teams around the championship manager game, please leave a comment down below what team you'd like to see, as well as season-long gameplays. I'd like to start doing them as well, guys, so please make sure you do leave a comment down below. But guys, thank you very much for your love, your time, your support, everything. Uh, you know, and we're going to make this channel even bigger and better. So please make sure you do share it to anyone else that you do know who loves this game or who used to play this game or who supports certain teams that we've done these challenges with as well. But guys, once again, thank you for your time and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you. The next video that we have on my channel here at TGR, that's gaming. Robbo.